Kid Mario 95 here bringing you another episode. In today's episode, guys, we're going to be going over a technical analysis of Stellar Lumens here. Last time we were looking at this coin, guys, it was November 12th, and the coin was sitting at about almost three cents. Uh, but now we're currently sitting, according to Coin Market Cap, at 70 cents, currently up 6% for the day. But before we do that, guys, let's go ahead and take a look at the market really quick. Today's uh, market cap, 814 billion. Bitcoin dominance, 36.3. Bitcoin currently up 1% for the day, currently sitting at 17,644. Ripple currently up 3%, Ethereum up 6%, Bitcoin Cash up almost 7 Cardano up 6%, Litecoin finally starting to move, currently up 18%. NAM up 5%, Stellar Lumens up 7%, IOTA up 5%, Tron down 25%, uh, Dash up 8%, Monero up 10 EOS up 8%, NEO up 8%, QTIM up 30 Bitcoin Gold up 2 Ryblox down 8 what else? What else have we been? See a coin up 53. Man, I wish I would have held on to my see a coin. Man, I would have. Man. Oh well, we'll catch the next one. Icon currently up uh, 13%, up $7. Uh, BitConnect up to almost 450. If you're looking to use BitConnect, guys, go ahead and use the referral link down below. Um, also, if you're looking to um, be par participate in the BitConnect X ICO, um, just word of advice, and this is just my personal opinion, you don't have to listen to me. Um, but if you are deciding to participate in that ICO, I recommend, um, cause they accept BitConnect tokens, uh, Litecoin and Bitcoin. I recommend doing it through BitConnect, um, or not BitConnect, the, the platform at least, but at least the coin itself, because it's going to be a lot faster than Litecoin and, uh, Bitcoin. That way you can get your, um, ICO tokens as fast as possible and you don't miss out if you are looking to participate. Uh, Verge currently down 3%. BitShares up 14, Zcash up 23, wow, Zcash is 730, wow, I haven't been looking at it, this one's priced too much, but this one's starting to finally move, Binance Coin is actually moving a lot, 45% uh, percent here for the day, it finally up to 22, Doge, I wish I would have done that technical analysis video a little bit sooner for you guys, we would have been up a pretty good amount, currently up 37% for the day, however, we did get into some red coin, at least I took up some buys yesterday, uh, up 41% for the day, what else did we... Arc, we took we did a video on Arc yesterday. Currently up uh, fourteen percent. If you guys took that buy, what else do we have? We have I believe Syscoin. Where's our Syscoin sitting? Syscoin currently up fifteen percent. If you guys took that buy yesterday, you also in profits on that. And we also did a video on Scenario. Let's go ahead and take a quick look at how that's doing. I believe it's still hanging out in the ninety cents area. Uh, currently up six percent for the day, hanging out at about ninety six. Uh, scenario is a cool way to earn uh, some uh, cryptocurrency. All you really have to do is um, download the, the Chrome extension called WildSpark and you know, go on YouTube, uh, share your favorite YouTuber's um, video, and by you doing that, you send them one amp or whatever amount of amp you want to send, and then you get this link. And now, anytime you share that link, um, anyone who also likes that video and shares that video um, rewards you and its creator. So, it's, Scenario is a pretty cool coin. Uh, but I don't want to dive into that too much. Um, I'm just a really big fan of it. Let me go ahead and close this. Let's go ahead and take a look at Bitcoin really quick, guys. Bitcoin looks like it's going to head towards 20000 again. Um, looks like we didn't do that nice little meltdown that I was kind of expecting here. The lowest we dropped was about 10000 and that was good enough to hold, you know, to scare the Bitcoin community. Looks like we have some uh, pretty solid support here at about 12500 Definitely expecting to see 20000 here pretty soon. Maybe even 30000 within the next couple of weeks. Let me go ahead and mark this off. I don't expect the price of 30000 however, probably for the next uh, two to four weeks. Maybe, you know, it could be a month. Who knows? We'll see how fast Bitcoin uh, picks up again. Ethereum looks like we're still struggling to break 1000 Um Not a problem. I do believe we'll be stuck in consolidation here for a bit. Ooh, excuse me there. Had to burp. Ugh. Um, however, I do believe we will consolidate here for a couple more days before we decide to do anything. So no uh, technical analysis for Ethereum. If we go ahead and take a look at Litecoin, however, Litecoin finally started to move. Let's go ahead and look at the four hour. Kind of behaving the same here as uh, Bitcoin. Looks like we formed a nice little W. Gonna wait for things to play out here before we uh, take any positions. However, I do believe we'll consolidate here for a bit and it's gonna kind of just behave how Bitcoin's behaving. So if Bitcoin decides to go up, I feel Litecoin will follow. If Bitcoin decides to fall, I feel like one will also follow. And these are the coins we did the other day. Amp, 
and arc looks like uh, man I was trying to find support here on the four hour arc looks like it still hasn't broke out still trying to find support before we decide to break out and let's go ahead and take a look at what you guys came here today but before we do that so we're currently up uh, six percent for the day sitting at 70 cents market cap at about what is that 12 billion today's volume 447 million circulating supply here 17.8 billion lumens total supply 103 billion if you don't have any lumens yet you can get them from binance bitrix and poliniex those are the three major exchanges there lumen to bitcoin um, however for our technical analysis today guys we will be comparing lumen to the dollar um, the first time we did the video on this guy this was november 12th and coin was sitting at about almost three cents today we are sitting at 71 almost 72 cents um, looks like we could have support here at about 58 cents. Let's go ahead and take a look at the four hour. So let's see. This is what I'm kind of expecting from Lumens. We have a nice little, uh, this was our all-time high at about 97 cents. And then we failed to form a new high. Formed a higher low here. I'm sorry, a lower high at about 79 cents. So what I'm expecting is a, possibly a lower high. Or I'm sorry, lower low. So we're going to come down. Possibly down here, and then bounce. Probably one more, and then from here, I believe we will continue towards the upside. However, this is just um, one scenario I have in mind. We could also see a nice little bounce off, uh, fifty-eight cents here. We could hold at this level and then continue towards the upside. These are my two scenarios for uh, lumens. Where do I see this coin going in twenty eighteen? Well, um, if you we go ahead and go to the Lumens website, Lumens is partnered up with a lot of big companies. I mean, a lot of big companies. Let me see if I can find about partners. They have a lot of big names that are with them. So um, these are just some of the I anchors they call them um, a lot of big names here in the crypto or not crypto financial um, I should say click X we have ripple Fox over here uh, flutter wave those are the, the the big ones I recognize there and bloom as well but if we go ahead and look at the companies they are partnered with here they're partnered with IBM stripe Vex 360 uh, where's the nice there we go Myfos, and then where's the last one Poseidon and also, if you where is that other one? They had something else that I really wanted to show you guys. Hmm. But as you guys can tell, they have a, a pretty good amount of companies, big companies. Stripe is also a nice one, um, if I didn't say that already, um, that are that they're partnered with. And if we look at it now, they don't even have half of their uh, circulate or total supply out yet. So the value of this coin can only go up. Um, so what does that mean for a 2018 for Lumens? Um, I believe this coin can is easily, a, um, you know, long term. Like this is just the beginning of 2018, but I believe more towards the end of 2018, uh, this coin could be a five dollar coin. Now I know that sounds crazy, but um, I believe Lumens has, you know, almost no it's a, no fee to zero fee. You know, it's point zero 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 one Lumen, I believe, is what the fee is. Um, you know, and it, it, you know, there's a couple of coins obviously that do have a no fee. But for coins that do have a fee, that is pretty much as low as it gets. However, I don't see it hitting $5 until maybe the possibly the, the end of 2018. Some closer targets I'm expecting here are um, $3 and possibly $2 here very soon. I expect uh, this $2 target here to be hit probably within the next uh, maybe three to six months, possibly sooner. $2, however, could uh, definitely happen a little bit sooner, probably within the next month. Uh, we almost broke a dollar here. I believe once we break a dollar, it'll be a lot easier for us to move from a dollar to two dollars than it was for us to get to a dollar. Um, however, that's just my personal opinion, guys. I'm no financial advisor. But that's pretty much it for today's video, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, like. Uh, give this video a thumbs up. If you share this channel with all your friends and family who are in, uh, interested in cryptocurrencies or are trying to learn. And that's pretty much it, guys. Thanks for watching. Take it easy. Peace.